Hi, this is Kelly Worthington. This is my fifth attempt at recording this video because YouTube decided to be stupid, but we're going to see if it works this time. So, I am doing a training video on hostesses that are ballot bag winners and how to send out invitations, um, how to work with your hostess, etc. when they are a ballot bag winner. Now, a ballot bag winner is somebody who has come to a, uh, a location that you have a bag up. I use bags. You might hear some people talk about them as fish bowls or boxes. Um, I tend to use bags because they're cheaper and it is easier to get out places quickly. So I go to Walmart or Target, find cute bags. You'll see on my website the um, cover that I put on the bag. I just glue it right on there with a cute little ribbon um, dangling at the top to catch people's attention. And then I just take a regular strand of ribbon, tie it around a pen with some tape, um, and, it, and attach that to the bag. That way there is always um, a pen with the bag for people to be able to fill out slips. Um, the whole purpose of a ballot bag is not to rely on those for your entire spa calendar, but it's a great way to get out in front of the community and get additional bag, uh, spa scheduled from places that you would have never gotten them scheduled before. So I have one at a tanning salon, I have one at a nail place, I have one at a shake shop, um, I have one at an alteration specialist, I actually got one into uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So tons of different places that you can try. The verbiage I use when I walk in is simply, my name is Kelly Worthington. I'm new to the area. I run a mobile day spa company and I'm looking to get my business out in front of people. And I was just wondering if I could put my little bag here to let people enter to win a spa session. And as a thank you to you for allowing me to have it up here, I will buy a $10 gift card from you once a month to give to them as um, a way to bring your customers back into your establishment. So once I get the bags up, I have the slips there for them to fill out. They fill it out. I come check in on the bags every two to three weeks. Some give me a lot, some give me a little. Everything is something more than what you had. So I tend to keep them up as long as they're giving me leads, period. Um, outside of that, once you schedule a spa, and you'll see my training videos on how to call winners and some live call examples, et cetera, on the website. But once you've called them and you've gotten your date set up, your time set up, my verbiage while I'm still on the phone with them is, okay, so Cindy, I'm going to send you an email confirmation that lets you know of your date, your time, my contact information, and the treatments you're going to get to try, as well as it'll remind you of what you want. Um, as a side note to you guys watching the video, I give a $40 gel neck wrap. Um, obviously, it costs us around 6 bucks, I think, um, and $20 in free products as my gifts for them winning the session. Plus, they get entered in for the gift card back to the, to the location. So the people who did spas in that month, I draw one of those names. That person wins the gift card for the month. So very simple and easy. Um, so I just say to them, um, I'm going to send you that email confirmation, but the last thing I need from you now that we've verified your info is that I need to know how you want us to send out your invitations to the guests you'd like to invite to come over to get spawed with you. And the reason we send out these invitations, just so you know, is we want your guests to make sure they know how to dress for it. Um, it's not a typical party. We want them to come in comfy clothes, minimal to no makeup, have a pair of socks with them for the foot treatment, and something to pull their hair away from their face. So we want to make sure we send them an invitation to explain all of that to them and also because we want them to know the treatments that they're going to get to try that night. Makes them feel a little bit more at ease to come to the spa session with you. So we have four options that you can choose from to um, schedule your session. The first is our Facebook invitation where we can add you to our personal business Facebook page. We'll make you a co-host, create an event, you can invite your friends right on there. Um, the second option is that you can do an email invitation where we will email you the invitation, you email the invitation out to your guests. The third option option is physical invitations where we just mail them physically to their addresses. Um, and the fourth is an evite. We can create um, an evite.com invitation and uh, let people be invited that way. So which of those four ways would you like us to um, let people know about your spa session? Once they tell me, then I include that in the email confirmation. You'll see the verbiage for my email confirmation um, on kellyspotivas.com under the ballot bag section. So once they do that, then you either go create their Facebook event. I use my personal, um, my business Facebook. I have three Facebook accounts. I have my personal one for my friends and family. I have my beauty control one for my consultants and friends uh, in the beauty control community. And then I have my one for my clients. So um, I use that one to uh, request friends for all of my spa attendees, my hostesses, et cetera, so that I can create events on there. It makes it very simple and easy. Um, the example I'm going to give you today is somebody who chose physical invitations. So when they choose physical invitations, I just have the invite. It looks like this. 
it just explains what to wear, the location and time information, um, just a reminder about no children for each adult guest they bring, they get a gift, etc. And then the treatments that they'll be able to experience that night. Pretty generic. It's a Word document. You can edit it if you need to, um, if you do something different than what I do. Um, so I just fold those up and I put them into an envelope that has, I love the ones with the little sticky backs because it's simple and easy. On the envelope for the address, I always put the guest name and guest. That way, number one, they always know when they get it that they're being invited to something because it says and guest, which insinuates that. Uh, but also, it reminds them that they can bring somebody with them, which I love because typically the guest of the person invited tends to, for some reason, be the person who does the most. So the more people that are there, the higher your sales, the higher your bookings, the higher your, your recruit numbers. Uh, but the other thing I do on the invitation is up in this top corner, I put the name of the hostess um, because that's who they know. So when they see that, they're going to open it. So I create those. And then for my hostess, I mail her an invitation as well so she knows what to expect for her guests to be receiving and also just for her own personal reminder. The other thing I sent her is a hostess letter. Now, I do not, I do use the same invitation for my ballot bag winning spas as my regular spas. So that's exactly the same. But my hostess letter is a little bit different just because the verbiage needs to be in there that they won something. Um, I still let them know they can earn other things, but it doesn't sound so much like something they need to do is something they would want to do. So um, their stuff reminds them of what they want on the letter. It goes over the typical rules, what time we're going to be there, etc. One notation on time. If your spa starts at 7 o'clock, you do not want to put 7 o'clock on the invitation. You want to put arrive no later than 645. And the reason why is when you put arrive no later than 645, they will arrive by 7 to 705. Everybody is always late. Nobody wants to be first, yada, yada, traffic, etc. So you do not want to tell them the time of the spa is the actual time that the spa starts. I always put it 15 minutes prior and I always show up 30 minutes prior to the actual starting time. So I have that, but then I just staple our hostess coupons that we are using to the back. Now there are two hostess coupons I do not put in there. The hostess coupons, um, the idea has gone around numerous times over the years in beauty control. I know this set of hostess coupon ideas I got from Brianne Harris's website and just edited them a little bit for our team and what we do. Um, but I do put them on the back of there. It explains on my ballot bag winner's um, hostess letter that there are additional coupons attached if they would like to choose to earn those additional free things, but it's not required. Um, so I do put them in a specific order because I want them to be received better that way. If you start out right with major ordering stuff, it might scare them. So I put the free product gift one for their invite, 40% off their skincare. I also put uh, the referral coupon, the coupon if they get the case. Um, then the one if they have six ordering guests at their spa, then for 500 into bookings, then for outside orders. And I put them in that order. The two coupons I do not include on that are the coupon for if they book the spa within 30 days from the original date they attended a spa because they didn't attend the spa. So that one's not valid. And also the neck wrap one because it's an instant guest gift for my hostesses. You have to give to get in this business. I'm not saying give away the farm, but you want your hostesses from your ballot bags to be happy because they are going back into the places you have the bags set up. And if you have people complaining that they didn't win things, then they're going to say it's a scam and then you're going to get your bag pulled out. So it's, you do need to give stuff that the regular hostesses do not get. My regular hostesses don't instantly get free products. They have to earn free products. My regular hostesses have to have their spa held on their original date, cannot rebook it to get their neck wrap. My winners get it regardless. So, um, you know, things like that. You just have to show how it differentiates itself from that. So I put that together in an envelope. I mail it out to my hostess. And then I call my hostess and remind her that she, you know, it's just very important that she doesn't rely on the invitation to invite people, that she does need to make physical phone calls to everybody to let them know they're invited, um, to expect the invitation in whatever form she chose, etc. So I hope that was helpful information. Um, please email me at kelly at kellyspodivas.com if you have any questions about this video and good luck with everything. Bye.